Um, welcome back to another episode of Don't Let It Do. Today, I have my friends Anne and Gina are in the house from Dames Who Dish. Uh, they have an awesome podcast. Go follow it, everybody. And they're on Instagram. Is it Dames Who Dish on Instagram? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. So, um, welcome. Welcome yes, to my podcast. Dude. Amazing. <laughs> Finally being with you on your podcast. Yeah. I mean, I went, I, the first time I went on your podcast was for my cookbook, was it? Yeah, it was your yes. Amy Phillips cookbook. Was, yeah. Yeah, 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 it was. God, it was like, what, like two, three years ago? God, it was. Yeah. And then we met you at BravoCon. Then we met, yes, at BravoCon. And then we met you for drinks a few months ago. Yes, 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 when you're in town. I remember that. Wow. It's like... Are you going Jeez, to go to I hope, I, I hope you remember. <laughs> Are we that excited. unforgettable? No. <laughs> I know. I feel, like I feel like I've seen you so many times. We went to Schmidt's. We had a great night. True. Um, so as we always do, as I always do on this podcast, we always have to get something off our chest to start it off. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, look, obviously, I think everybody knows what I wanted to get off my chest. Um, is that dumb website, Dumois, that was like talking shit about me again. But mm -hmm. um Here's my problem with it. It's like, I don't mind. Talk away. Say whatever you want to say. I, I don't care. I know what the truth is. But like to just like put stuff out there and not even like contact you and be like, hey, someone's saying this about you. Is it true or not? And, stuff. and it's like, and it's like it's dumb thing about it. I'm not, I'm not even famous. It's like stupid. And it's like, and then they're going like, I just remember like back when, when it was like Super Bowl Sunday, we got that guy kicked out of the bar because he was like fucking harassing me and Jeff at the time. And it was definitely that person. It was that same person that put all that shit out there and which was all lies that we knew. But, you know, this is a really serious like allegation to say like probably had an affair, probably this, like cheating this, like all this kind of stuff. And it's like, you know, that, that did cause a massive, massive fight between me and Jeff at the time because of shit that they said that was complete lies, you know? And then, you know, what's that going to do to a person? Like, obviously he's going to be like, it's going to create doubt in his head. Do you know what I mean? Which I don't blame him. Like if, you know, if I heard stuff about him, like I would have doubt as well, but like, it just, it's really hurtful. And it's just, you know, it's just like, I don't know, it kind of like fucks with your character a bit. You know what I mean? And like, it's it's just like blatant lies. And like, they've put out so many lies about so many different people. So why would we even like entertain this in the first place? And I mean, I'm sorry, if anybody knows me, everybody knows I like guys in their mid fifties to sixties. <laughs> I said, do you know what I mean? What's your like, tights do? What's your tights yeah, not no, in like, your 20s? Like, Cause I mean, I think they said it was like, did this, did I, I didn't listen to it, but they, did they oh. say like I, I had an affair with a young guy or a young kid or something like that, or not yeah, a young kid, but like a, something, yeah. So, oh, that's nice. Okay, like my last four boyfriends are all in their fifties. Like, well, there you anybody go. knows me, like anybody that knows me, they're like, yeah, you like to go for the older guys. I've always, I've always done that. Like, I think when I was eighteen, my boyfriend, I was like twenty nine. Like, Ooh. it's just, I know, it's my thing. Like at the time, yeah, You're I know. Like a mature man. Yeah, like mature man. Can I so. ask you a question with regard yeah. to the Dumas uh, episode? Yeah. Because, of course, we listened. Um, we remember your ex speaking about that episode in the bar during yeah. the Super Bowl. And he never said anything about this guy, you know, dated you. Like, it sure. wasn't It wasn't understood that you even knew this guy or this guy we, knew you. We didn't he, have a fucking idea. But here's the thing. I did, fi I did find out who the guy is. Like I, like, I know who he is. I know his Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And um, because my he follows one of my friends because my friend Ross was there at the bar that day. And Ross is like, I think that guy follows me. I'm like, fucking find him. I said, not that I'm going to reach out to him and like be like, what the fuck are you doing? I just, I'm not going to do that. But um, he follows all the chumps. So he was a fan. I believe he was a fan of, of Jeff. Yeah. He was flirting with him, like holding his hand and all this kind of shit. You know, I was like, dude, you're being fucking weird. Like get out, you know? Right. We right. remember and, the story. Yeah. yeah. And then he made the lie about us being like belligerent drunks, like attacking bartenders. Like it was just so ridiculous. Um, but yeah, just, I, I sent her a message. I was like, you should be ashamed of yourself. And then she blocked oh, me. To do what? Oh. So, uh -huh. so the understanding in the first time we heard this story, Jeff was on your side saying, yes, Stu got rid of this guy who was a problem yeah. at the bar. Yeah. Then it seems um, Dumois 
said we got a message saying that Jeff was belligerent at the bar and mm -hmm. he didn't like that because he said no. I'm, an, I'm a good drunk and I'm a nice drunk and he oh seems to have that reputation like, like any any time he goes to restaurants bars anything like that he tips really generously he's really kind to all those people the service people always like I would be the one where I'd like want to complain <laughs> and he would say like no no Stuart please don't fucking complain like I like I don't, I don't want restaurants hating me. You know what I mean? Right, I'm like, right. fine, fine, whatever, we'll let it go. So, um, yeah, like it was just so, like the lies were just insane. So was uh, it this one. same guy that said, oh, and by the way, me and Stu had an affair? I believe so, yes, because at the time, I guess she said, oh, well, there was more to the text message, but I didn't release that. Okay. Like, so I don't when, fucking know what to be, like, right, believe with this right. woman. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, well, like if you're going to put, what, so you're putting half of it out? And right. not the other half, like, like what so are you doing? She's she's claiming now that she didn't put yeah. the rest out because it would have hurt Jeff. I I guess I don't know. I I don't I don't fucking know. Like I don't know what, like why, like. And also, Jeff so, believing so. so Jeff wants us to believe, which we do, that he's not a belligerent drunk. You guys were not that way that not day at, at the bar. No, no, we were but, having a, we had a great day that day. But. You should believe that this guy actually did have an affair. Sure. With yeah, exactly. So like you can lie a few, but now we're going to believe you this. Like, yeah. Right. Right. No, it's just, and here's the thing. Like, I don't think Jeff believes it either. I don't think I don't he, think he I don't think either. I don't think he buys it. No. You know I what I mean? Either. It's just yeah. like, nice try, bitch, but you didn't fucking get it. You didn't get it. <laughs> so it's just like, you know what I mean? Whatever. Well, it seems, um, that, it seems that Dumois and your ex have become quite chummy. He, she said that he is the first person to do an in-person interview with her yeah that was shocking mm. of all that people, is interesting because because she's meant to be like well private. She's meant to be like a private but like you can google her and she comes up right yes, like, yes. like it's just i mean look he can be friends with whoever whoever he wants to be that's <laughs> fine you know what i mean but like i mean i would not fucking trust her at all well i'm glad that you finally posted and spoke up because you've been taking it like four mm. months without yeah. saying a word. I know. Which I think it was the Kabbalah. Like Kabbalah, I'm not allowed. I'm allowed <laughs> with Kabbalah, I'm not allowed to react. It's like you know, the, you, it's like um, what is it? Like you pause. I have everything. I don't need anything. It's like you chant, you say that, and you calm down, or it's you, I say the prayer or whatever like that. So I didn't like. I didn't react for months and months and months. Even like over my, my mom, the dead mom stuff, and all like I like because I just was like, what like. Like, what's it going to do? It's only going to make me more yeah. angry and I'm more upset. Like, I'm at a much better place in my life now where it's like, I don't give a shit talking about it. Like, it doesn't matter to me anymore. You know, keep keep talking about me. Keep telling fucking lies about me. It's fine. If it makes you happy, good. Well, I it's think fine. it speaks to your character, honestly. Yeah. So. But it's just like, it's just like, the, the, these things don't matter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It they're just sense. bigger. Yeah. You know it was I mean? like, also so long ago. Right. Like, that's the thing. I was just like, someone DM me and they were like, oh, like they're bringing this, this Dumois, this guy up from like Super Bowl. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, we dealt with this already, like so long ago. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, again, that's like something like I definitely want to forget about because it's just, it was so toxic and just so bad. And I just hated that we had to fight over that, over yeah. like a lie and stuff like that. It sucks. Like, I know, like, like I've been in West Hollywood now, like 20 years, pretty much. Like, like you know i've gone out over the years like hundreds of times like a lot of people know who i am and stuff like that and you know there's a lot of haters out there and they'd say like you know it's not the first time where things have been said to me said about me at all i'm sure maybe i was probably an asshole to some people they probably don't <laughs> like me over the years you know what i mean but uh so it like it doesn't shock me it's just when you have a really a loving relationship and something happens like that it's just it breaks the trust almost like it just creates doubt you well, know sure. yeah also during this since you didn't listen to the dumois episode mm. there was also some she went through certain things that people had messaged her about Got jeff. It. and one of the other things was that somebody said they saw jeff and his assistant sure in the car making out that's so crazy so See, like, that's fucking dangerous like, right and we like don't that. believe that i mean no we i know don't believe their, that either and we no. know their relationship and he, yeah i just don't believe that at all however 
still he chooses to believe certain things and he chooses yeah. to believe everything that is about you for some reason <laughs> he knows i didn't do that he knows it's not true uh it's funny though i mean i look i'm glad i can laugh about these things now i really am um, oh, thank god yeah you, you have to you know it's just yeah, like it's true. been too long it's been 10 months you know, I always laugh at it, like, you know. It's but funny. you're still the topic of conversation. Yes, you you're are. Still a hot topic. Oh, Jesus. Um, don't let I, it stew. No, don't <laughs> let it stew. Let's get off your chest. Um, I just got done watching Jersey. Oh. I, had to, I had a lot of work to do today. I had to watch Jersey and OC. Oh, like, gosh. Work. But I'm off today. I'm off. My, 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 um, uh, my bosses yeah. are off. They're gone to Miami for the week, so. Nice. But, uh, so what yeah. did you think about, did we need to see this off the rails episode? Um, did I need to see off? Look, it was fine. I don't think we learned anything new out of it. I think I was kind of sad kind of towards the end because it really felt like this is it. And like, they're not going to come back again, mm -hmm. which I, it's definitely going to come back. I don't think they should do a whole new recast like New York. Um, but like, there's nothing wrong with that cast. They're entertaining. Like they're yeah. really good. I thought it was a great season. I really did. And like, I just loved, I loved Dolores going at Margaret. I oh, was like the best was thing. Crazy. That was wild. Like her, she was so, wild. I was like, I'd never seen her like that angry and stuff like that. And, um, and then they're eating like cronuts afterwards. They're like, give me a hug. Like it's, it's weird, amazing. Though, because why, what made her go nuts like that? I mean, it, it, cause well, it, she didn't go, she was invited or she wasn't invited. She didn't attend. So what are you pissed and, off about? I, that's the thing that's, I was confused about as well. I was like, why was she annoyed? Because like, even if she was asked and she did remember that she was asked. Yeah. So what? Who cares? <laughs> like, she so also, what? she also didn't have a good explanation at in uh you know the last episode when they were all watching it in different rooms yeah and margaret asked her or somebody asked her why were you so upset i think melissa did yeah she didn't have a good answer she was kind of like i didn't want to be portrayed like as a bad friend or i was a liar or something like that right i i, I don't know like i don't know i didn't even i i mean i could text Dolores and ask her I'm like hey did you <laughs> like but uh i think i think margaret probably did say it and like, and Dolores didn't even fucking hear it. That's what I think. That's what I think. Yeah. That's what I think. She said it in um, passing. Yeah. The same as Margaret said. But the level Ooh. of anger was like Amazing. off the fucking chart. I need, I needed that though. I needed that. <laughs> I needed it for her to give me that. It was great. Here's the other she's thing. She's such a sweet woman. Gina hates with a passion, Jen Aiden. I don't appreciate Jen Aiden either. I think she's just a awful person, Yeah. but watching her, when she emotion when she makes you feel a certain way whether it's mm. hate against her i'm enjoying watching her on my screen because i hate her so much yeah you love <laughs> I don't, to hate her. i don't want to love absolutely everybody i really like danielle though so if I'm, i love danielle. if i'm gonna take somebody out of the mix it's gonna be jen aiden and keep in danielle i think she has a lot to offer i think she's Danielle a real jersey, awesome. jersey girl too food is awesome too i love her. i love those two faster needs to go after she walked out of that, after she walked out, I'm like, fucking, you're not a housewife. Like you need to no, stay till it. the end. Yeah. yeah. No. And it's like, it's just like you, and it's like, it's you hosting the dinner or the yeah. lunch. It's How like, I'm going? out. Yeah. It's like, also, why didn't you just sit and not say anything? Just sit and be quiet. Yeah. You leave. You're missing all the action. <laughs> it's like, I got plastic surgery. I don't want glass. Like, shut up. That, that was pretty funny when she said <laughs> I was just like, really, I was just like, this is such a dumb excuse. Um, oh my God. But yeah, I don't know where they go from here. Like, I think like Jen Aiden, they go below the belt. Like, and I mean, I'm sorry, like Danielle's husband is like hot. I think he's one of the hottest men on, on that show. I do too. Yeah, yeah he is. And cute. I mean, yeah. he, he's way better looking than the other one, than her oh, one, than Jen definitely. Aiden. Definitely. Yeah. I, um, I did, I did you guys both a favor and I listened to Teresa's podcast when her and Louie were uh, chatting yeah. and they, they cut out that epi that part where Louie talks about how cute the daughters are and how sexy they are and they should dress in bikinis and all that kind of stuff. That's they so cut cute. that out. Um, you know what he said today though, right? Or yesterday that it was editing, that it, the, Teresa and Louie came out and said it was the editing 
that made it sound like something it wasn't. No. And I'm like, no, it, so it sounds like it sounds. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah. That's it. Um, was there anything else in it? Like, I just feel like we rewatched the same episode again. It like, was right? the same episode. I was, did you see Andy was asking, he had on uh, Matt Rogers yes. and Boeing Yang. And did you, um, give me a, did you just give me a wink? I did. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> He looked, he looked cute. Yeah, he, he did. did. Anyway, he did look cute. Andy asking people, what room would you rather be in? I mean, that's not even a question. Who would choose to be in the room with Teresa, Jen Aiden, Jackie, only Dolores? And Dolores didn't want to be in there. She was popping over to the other room. Yeah, she was just like, oh, God, like, this is just, this is so boring in here. Oh, yeah. so boring. Jackie, Jackie's awful. Jackie needs, yeah. to, go. needs to go. Jackie needs yeah, to I go. I always, I like, you know what, like, and. Like I always liked Jackie and she was always really like, any time, like I saw her a, a few times at BravoCon this year or last year and this year, last year. And um, she was always really sweet to me. She always like is really nice in Dude, person. Everybody like, is nice. Everybody's nice. Everybody's nice. They person. are. I mean, Jen Aiden was nice to me and Teresa was nice to me too. It's just like, See, it's so hard. I, just, I, just need, <laughs> I need to not know any of them anymore. It's okay. Yeah, it's much easier. No, I like Dolores and Polly because Polly's Irish and they're great fun. Course, I love like course. anytime I come into town to see them. It's amazing. So is the rumor that you and Polly are related true? No, <laughs> so funny though. But I, I actually asked him when I was when I was staying over there last time. I was there. I was like. I asked him when he moved to America and it was just, we just like missed each other. When I moved to Dublin and lived for four years, he had just, I think he left, uh, he moved like in 2000 mm. and I went to Dublin in 2000 to 2004. So we could have crossed paths in Dublin. You I don't know. Who knows? But um, okay. um, how uh, I just also watched Orange County, which is getting very good. Oh, so it's good. good. It's really good. It's kind of nasty though as well. They're being well, a bit fucking mean. I know. Are you friends with Tamara? No, but you're. I know. With I know. Do you, do you like Tamara? No, I mean I'm not friends with Shannon anymore. <laughs> well, you were. <laughs> <laughs> I were. <laughs> you were that friends. Was... You were <laughs> friends with a lot of people. You aren't friends with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I and know. Some and some you are friends with still. Yes, because we're <laughs> legitimately friends. We're not <laughs> doing it to piss anybody off. I'm really not. I mean, There's if I wanted to piss, a... if I wanted to piss people off, I'd be going on those people's podcasts true. Oh, yeah. and That's I'm not, very true. and I wouldn't very do that. True. And I'm not like that. And it's not to, I'm not doing shit to rub it in people's faces or of his face, or if he thinks I'm trying to do, I'm not, it's not me. He, if he wanted to be go and be friends with Ronnie or anything like that, I wouldn't give a shit. I'd be like, we're not, we're not kids. You know what right. I mean? We're not in high school. Right. You know, it's like, you know, every, let, everybody can get along, but I do feel like, I do feel like I did get the best chump though. <laughs> I did. Wait, like, do we want to say best. who? Oh yeah. Well. Yeah, everybody knows who. It's like Megan. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, I've always liked Megan. I've been friends with Megan before I dated him. Yeah. Because I went on the show for the cookbook and stuff, and I met her and did the Christmas party and all that stuff. And we, I we talked to each other all the time. Like you know, she's like she was the closest one I was with. Um. So. Look, it is what it is. It'll all, it'll all work itself out, I'm sure. There was it'll a work. clip that somebody posted that was at their event in Arizona that uh, where he talks. Did you hear about this? Where he talks about yeah. the demise of his relationship with Megan. And um, it was interesting, but that clip was pulled down. Oh, it was? What was said? What did he say? Um, God, what did he say? It was basically they weren't on the same page and there was something he was being accused of being misogynistic uh -huh. and it was a caller that called into the show got it, being got it. accused of being misogynistic and megan i guess didn't say anything and shane s stood up for him and said oh got no it. he's not at all and i guess because she didn't say anything that's yeah. when he knew it was the end of their friendship oh interesting oh, mm -hmm. okay. yeah right all right mm -hmm. that's that's Definitely. the story. That's I know. the story. I know. Um, um, go, going back to Shannon. So you you had gone out before with Shannon and John Jansen. Correct. For Sorry, my birthday. Johnny J. Johnny they, J. Yes. They, we all went down to Orange County. We went to Nobu. They were at my birthday party or like my birthday. How old was I? 40, 41? 40, no, 42. And she got the DUI the next day. Oh, wow. It was literally the day before. It was crazy. I know. Wow. Yeah. But did you, what? How did you think their relationship was when you would hang out with them? Fine, like yeah. they were fine. You know what I mean? Like 
to, out drinking, having fun, cracking jokes and stuff like that. And um, yeah, like. Because now Alexis, Lexi, as she wants to be called, Lexi. Drives me crazy. Um, she is circling around this concept that she and John Jansen have knowledge of certain things and that would really piss Shannon off and it you know, it would take. Oh, I'm sure she does. Right? Yeah, I'm sure she does have stuff on him or whatever that is. But John's saying he has it on Shannon. Oh, I think Shannon's saying I think Shannon has stuff on John as well. Yeah, They're probably. Both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I were. I think see that or is that going to come out this season? The I only wonder. way Alexis can even stay on if is if this stuff comes out. I don't care about her. She's not more fun than Shannon, by the way. She's fake no. fun. She just. Yeah. Know, I think Shannon's actually really fun. I think she's funny. I think she made a mistake. And I think what Tam Rat, because now she's back to being Tam Rat, what she did to her at that dinner oh, was so awful. unacceptable. It's mean. just like, you saw, you, like, you, like, it's not her place to call her an alcoholic. It's not like you don't fucking know her. Like, you, like, like just don't, it's so like, it's so below the belt. Yeah. And she can be pissed off at Shannon. I get it for everything with the Trace Amigas and not thinking she's, you know, yeah. handling things correctly, but to accuse her of being an alcoholic, if that's out of the realm. You could have said so many other things with regard to the situation that they were in yeah. with the Trace uh -huh. Amigas, but for her to go that route, why? And she, went, she, and she did like 30 days of that outpatient care thing or whatever she was going like every day. And she took it very seriously. She looks and, fantastic. So and she, she looks amazing. Have, so yeah. clearly she's not a drunk. Like she looks amazing. Yeah. Right. I thought, I mean, I, that was drunk, actually really funny. Can't, drunk, can't yeah. look that amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, made, I don't know. Well, I mean, if she was like, she'd be a bit disheveled, I feel like, or maybe not so, so put together if she was like having an issue or a problem, I right. would think, you know? That's what I would think. Um, I thought it was really funny though. Like they're all arguing. And then the kid zooms in on like Emily and like them talking like, yeah, but I mean, she looks really good. Like, she, got, <laughs> like, she got a good, she got good. Like she looks good. Like her face, like a good plastic surgery and stuff like that. Like just it's really funny. It was so real. As Tamara's yeah. screaming at yeah. Shannon. What do we think about this uh, 65 to $75,000 lawsuit? That okay. John... Here's what I'll say about this. Yes. Just fucking pay him mm. and just be gone and just yeah. be done. Do not defend it. Do not go and spend another forty thousand dollars trying to defend this shit. It's so expensive. It's a waste of time. Do a payment plan. If you're pissed off at them, just do a payment plan and pay them five hundred bucks a month. Just yeah. whatever, and let them wait or it out. Or try to mediate it beforehand because it sounds like Shannon did pay for a lot of things in the relationship beforehand. Mm. Yeah. So maybe you know, knock out some chunks of whatever you think you should be sure. getting back, and then do it like that. I don't know. Shannon's dad was like, "Go for it. Yeah, go for no. the jugular." <laughs> What does John just, Jansen do, Stu? Do you know? I don't. What, know. What's his job? That we never, I know, I we never, no, we never found that out. I don't know. Mm. Like Fine answers. I don't know. Sus. Yeah, we did. Mm. We never actually knew that. Mm. That was yeah. So yeah, that never came up. I for some reason, I don't think he was working. I don't know. Is that Dirty John? Is that Dirty John? I don't know. Ooh, <laughs> no, that's Louie. I don't know. Could have been yeah. Dirty John. Could be. <laughs> um. I think as well, when Alexis was sitting down with Tamara, I think when Tamara kind of said like, well, like Shannon, you know, she said, she said she, she was paying for everything and this and the other, and the camera kind of turns to Alexis and she doesn't defend it. No, she doesn't. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. She was sat silent for a moment. Yeah. And that's like she's she paying said, for shit. Right. And that's when she said, well, John, J Johnny J has some stuff that can come out about Shannon. I mean, it's, that's shitty also. Yeah, it is. It's like, but Shannon's not talking about John. Like, no, no. she wouldn't. She's not. Do you it's know just, what I mean? It's, it's like, Alexis the lawsuit there. Thing. that's the only yeah. reason. So yeah. it's like he can have stuff on her all he wants, but like she's not bashing him or anything like that. No, and she's give just her a break, a, yeah. for God's sakes. I mean, really. She's, really, Shannon, she's just really getting she, it this season. Like, she gets it every she season. Is. If you season. go back. And <laughs> Shannon, I mean, um, Tamara talked about this before at, you know, the phone call Shannon would Which call I her in the middle of the night. I believe yeah. that too. Yeah. And Shannon is kind of always a mess. But I do feel like we all have those friends that are always kind of a mess. I mean, sure. yeah, don't take the phone call every night. Like, yeah. you know, you don't have to. You can put a limit on it. But she's just bringing it up again. 
I mean, Shannon is a pretty easy target. She is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just, I know she just gets it from like left, right, and center. It's just, and then, and then when she goes outside, she's like, you know, I'm just really, really hurt that nobody came out to me. She's like, well, I'm here. I know. <laughs> But Jennifer was like, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. Doing, I'm literally doing what you're saying. I do, I'm not doing. Like, She's like, but not you. I want yeah, somebody else. Yeah, to she, come out. It, that's exactly what it was. She, I think she wanted somebody else. Somebody higher up in the house. Yeah, she was some, someone that's been there for a while. Yeah. Um. Oh my God. Do you guys have anything else? Oh, you got you. So you wanted to play a game with me. You, you texted me last night. You wanted to yes. do like a quick fire. Yes. Question thing. A question thing. Yeah, so we're gonna... um, there better be nice questions. Well, uh, nice we, we got through a few, which is you kind of answered them not knowingly, which was kind of great. Great. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Okay. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Um, are you are you happy about Scam Likely getting married? Because we heard he yes. got married. Of course I am. Of course you are. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm pretty, like, I went to the wedding, got, the, or like, they're, ceremony and got a photograph oh, with them yeah i'm super happy amazing i actually never thought he would ever settle down though really yeah i never did because they just he wasn't i don't know i'm shocked how long did you date him i think probably jesus what dear 2019 i think oh so 2019 like three years yeah. maybe. and then you yeah. guys just stayed friends yeah we right. just knew like when we just the last year of the relationship was just like we were just like best friends yeah, yeah. that's what it was you know what i mean and that's it was just like kind of time to move yeah, on yeah but like you know and then you know, he did something like he just didn't try he didn't turn up for my book signing and i was really pissed oh. off about that. and he was meant to yeah and i was like okay we're done i said i'm not going to talk to you for a few months or like one or two months or like a month and then we were fine then i'm like okay i'm over it we can hang out now whatever let's get all our friends together and stuff like that and that's, that's it. Nice. And we've always been friends and like, that's nice. he's a fun guy. He's a fun, he's a funny guy. Yeah. Um, well, so I'm glad that yeah. you got to go to his wedding. Yes. Um, I have a question. If you were with Jill Zarin, mm -hmm. um, not that long ago at her Hampton foundation State. or yeah, the yeah. Hampton thing. you stayed at her house. Yes. Um, how long were you there before she brought up her rugs? <laughs> she never <laughs> brings up rugs. I know people say that to me all the time. No. <laughs> I mean, no, we're probably talking about Diet Coke more than, oh, than rugs. <laughs> she is so funny. She's just so funny. I love her so much. She's the best. She's the we best. We love Jill. I can't we wait to, I, um, I want to go to stay with her in Boca when she gets back. I think mm. I'll probably go in like October, November. I actually need to stay like not traveling. Yes. I'm just traveling so much. I'm literally, I'm running out of money. I know. Well, no. speaking of are which, you, aren't that's you going to question. London? You're going to London, aren't you? Another Taylor. <laughs> this is three, right? The third <laughs> Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> you're officially a Swift. But, but you're not to, really. A, but you're not really a Swiftie. But you're, you're I'm going to go for the third time, and I'm going to go to London <laughs> to go see her. <laughs> I need to be committed. I swear. Like it's no. Okay, here's what happened. So my friend Shane in Ireland, he's my best friend, and he. I had said, hey, I'm off this week. And I was just going to stay in town. I wasn't going to do anything or anything like that. And in the back of my head, I was like, fuck, she's playing in London. And then I was like, what about if we went to London? I said, I haven't been there since I was nine years of age, which is the truth. Wow. So, and like, I like haven't like taken like a vacation vacation. Like, like going home to Ireland to see my dad was like, great. Like I had fun to see Nisa, but it's like you're visiting family. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not mm -hmm. like vacation. So then. I was like, you know, I said, Taylor Swift is playing there that weekend. And he's like, oh my God, please, can we go? He's like, you got to see her in Dublin. I wasn't able to go. This and the other. I'm like, okay, look, let me look at tickets. Let me look at flights. Like, let me look at all this to see, is this even possible, right? So then I go on StubHub and then I'm like, oh my God, the tickets are really reasonable at $900. But that is reasonable. I know. For 4,000 here. Yes, yes. Okay. insane. It is insane. So I was like, look, the tickets are... I, I can do that. Like I can do 900 for the ticket. And he's like, great. I can too. And I was like, okay, these are the dates. I need to figure out what I'm going to fly. So I'm flying out Tuesday, I'm getting Wednesday. Actually, I'm flying my friend, Alex day, go follow him on TikTok. He's a big, like Swifty. Mm. And like, he does the whole Easter egg hunting thing oh. with her. Like he's really, it's really entertaining. Like to watch, like, you know, so it's the best, like he's going to be there at the same night I, I'm going as well. But, um, I think he's going like three nights in a row. 
Yeah. Oh my God. And he's going to the three nights in Vancouver as well. Is she at Wembley? Wembley, yeah. Is that where she's going playing? Wembley. Yeah. Oh Wembley. my God. You're checking out so the few be... boxes. Yeah. Like I'm doing the whole tourist thing in London, like all that stuff. I can't wait. <laughs> oh. We've all rest, we've restaurants booked. I'll do, I'm really going to try and do like a real, like a cool, like restaurant you eatery. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. also bad at doing that. Um, so yeah, I'm really, I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh my god! I'm like so excited. You've no Are idea. you gonna wear your Taylor Swift sweatshirt? I have my sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, I got a new t-shirt that just says rep on it, or EP. Oh. So I'll probably give this one to Shane. Shane can wear this one maybe at the concert and then Perfect. I'll wear the other one. Um, fun. Yeah, like why not? I just why was not? like, fuck it. Like I'm just gonna yeah. go, Yeah. you know? And no, it's perfect. Enjoy myself and yeah. It's great. Forget, forget about the States. We suck here. Live your life. Live your life. <laughs> yeah. That's so um, when you're cooking, are you a person that cleans up after themselves or is your kitchen a total fucking disaster when you make, <laughs> when, you, when you cook? Here's my process when I do that. So mm. <laughs> it's like, I'm not doing that. I feel like it's um, a disaster. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's a disaster too. I try, I love, I like speed cook. Like, so I like to get shit done as fast as possible. Right. <laughs> so it's like a hurricane. <laughs> That's what I imagine. So I just put shit everywhere and I get, so basically what I'll do, I'll be like, get everything done. And then it's on the stove and it's cooking. Now I'm going to clean up. I don't clean as I go. But how much later do you clean up? Oh, straight after. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I don't oh. leave. Like my kitchen's always spotless before I go to bed at night. Like it can, nothing can be. You put your dirt. kitchen to bed. That's yeah. what, that's what we used Yeah, there's to nothing in the sink before I go to bed or anything like that. Mm -hmm. No, it has to always be clean. Um, but yeah, I'm a like disaster and then I clean up. Fair enough. That's good. <laughs> that, makes, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> Gina, did you have actual cooking questions? I do have you? an actual cooking oh, great. question because I really like to cook. And I have a question because I've heard different things from different people. So when you're making a marinara sauce, how, what do you put in the sauce to reduce the acidity of the tomato? Because I've heard baking soda i've heard sugar sugar what say you sugar Ooh. sugar not baking well, if soda. it's for, it's if it's very tart you mean is it like like the, the you know tomato the tomatoes are acid yeah. sometimes and yeah. sour or whatever yeah so sugar it's like a tablespoon sugar. of sugar in there okay. yeah all right uh -huh. straight from the chef uh-huh straight now um, we know that's it yeah i mean or if it's too spicy, put lemon juice in it. It takes down the spice. Oh, lemon juice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a good trick. Um, I have it does something. work too. It's crazy. I have something for you to download uh, to watch on your flight. Oh, to the UK. that you know what? I was actually going to ask you guys a question about that. Like, I like to ask any time a guest come on. Like, what are you guys watching right now? What's good to watch? Love Ooh. is Blind UK. No. It's, Why? I don't, I don't fucking too watch many. those shows. Dude, I just don't watch Love is oh, You God. love you love those movies. I haven't even those I like, do love those movies. I love romance and all that stuff. I know this is good and it's it's UK. So the accents, that just makes it so much I don't better. no, I don't like UK TV. <laughs> I don't like UK TV. That's why I moved here. It's the best. That's it's all here. I love is UK TV. Um no, well, so that's shit out no. of luck then. You're shit out of luck. It's mm. it's you have a movie. <laughs> oh, like what's tomorrow. that one? The wicked little letters. Oh, Oh, it's that, sorry. It's in the UK. It's a, it's, yeah, it's a UK movie. But so it's a movie, it. though. That's fine. I can do a movie. You would like it. Very cute. An hour and a half. Netflix. Netflix. Easy Great. movie. I'll download that then for tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I'm actually really excited. I kind of treated myself to upper class Ooh. going there. I'm Isn't Virgin. It? Oh, Virgin. Nice. Yeah, Virgin Very upper nice. class. It actually wasn't that expensive. It nice. actually, I was like, yeah. And apparently they have a bar. Like you have a bar that you can sit at. What is it? The double yeah. decker? Is no, the double but they have. But they maybe it is. I don't know. No, it's not a double decker. Okay. Or maybe it has the the large part, the the front. You know, it kind of raises up a bit. Yes. Um, but they actually have a bar. Oh, nice. So we'll go. It's perfect. My flight's at four o'clock. Have one or two cocktails. Get in my pajamas. Oh, go to sleep, and I'll wake nice. up and I'll be in London. Amazing. In your pajamas. That sounds yeah. like the perfect evening. <laughs> it really does. Like it's just gonna be so nice. And when's the concert? Friday? Friday. Uh, Ugh. Well, I know my friend, my friend Alex was like, I have two tickets for Thursday night. I'm like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking stop. No, I it. just was like that. I was like, just stop. I'm like, now if you can't sell them, I'll go. But I'm not paying. But every concert she does is a little different because 
Did you see the already? Oh, no, not for you, maybe, because you already saw where she added the new albums. Yeah, I've seen that, the Torture Post <laughs> Department. So, <laughs> okay. That was in Ireland. Of, of course you did. <laughs> and, and yeah, she's going to do that. But we're just hoping that we're going to get a reputation Taylor Swift's drop this mm. weekend. Well, Wembley would be the place to do it. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the end of the European tour. Yes. Oh, there you go. She'll announce. She won't drop it. She'll announce something. Yeah. If yeah. she announces something. And then, um, and then she's coming back then to America. She thinks she has a month or two off or something. And then back on tour. But you know what they're all saying? They're saying they left all those dates in America. So she's coming back just before the election. That's what oh. they're secretly saying. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. She's going to start, I'd say. Start huh. I think I like this. Stuff. Yeah. I think I oh, like once, this schedule. Once she says, once she says anything, and look, the Swifties are on it already, but once she comes out <laughs> and supports Kamala, like it's, it's slam dunk. Oh it's yeah. It's going to be over. I think in my opinion. Well, um, but yeah. It's looking well, that way she's already. Got a, yeah. Taylor's got a huge audience. So. And I'd say Beyonce would probably, she'd probably perform at the convention. I'd say, you know, it's a crazy. It's, it's crazy. crazy. It's it's exciting. It is like, very I think exciting. It, it is nice. It's exciting. It's nice to see people happy again and just, you know, yeah. it's cool. Oh, yeah. definitely. <clears throat> well, that is it. It is. I'm seeing I have my dinner now. I'm not cooking. I'm going, to take, I'm going to take out or something like that. But um, thanks so much for coming on. Please Thank let me know when you too. come to Los Angeles again. Absolutely. And, definitely um, will. And um, do, are, you going, are you going to Bravo Fest? In Miami? Yeah. Like, no, what's it going to be no. like a Bravo con? Yeah, no. it's like mini. Like they're going to watch a show, and a few Bravo loves will be there. Nah, yeah, no, 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 nah. no. Bravo no, con next you. year. Yes, and we like Vegas on its own. We don't yeah. have to even have Bravo con to like Vegas. Exactly, so, Bravo con is just fun anyway. It's just, the, it's just the extra side. Yeah, we need a break anyway. Thanks for having us on, Stu. All right. Thanks, anytime. Stu. Thanks so much. Have a nice evening, and I'll have talk to you guys fun. soon. Thank yep. you. Bye. 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 Bye.